everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're gonna look at an accessory for your 8.1 or 9.1 from Tiberius today. This is the Killjoy uh, upgrade trigger. So it's a replacement for the original trigger. Shape-wise, they're almost the same. There's just a little bit of a different curvature to them. Uh, but the Killjoy trigger is an aluminum trigger. The other one, which I've already taken apart sort of here, it's just a, like a composite trigger right here. And it does have two stop adjustments, the uh, start position and uh, rear travel position. So you can control where the trigger sits at rest and how far it moves when you pull it. And it uh, doesn't require the same spring as this one. So you get actually a softer feel to it. It's working on the, um, really the spring tension that's inside the assembly in the back rather than on the spring that they've got sitting behind the trigger that you can see right here. So the first thing we're gonna do to put this in is disassemble the gun. As you can see, I've already removed the two frame screws, the uh, safety spring that keeps the safety lever position in place, and then the roll pin that goes through the trigger and goes through the outside of the frame that holds the trigger in position so it doesn't just slop and wobble around all over the place. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this trigger off right here and you do wanna be careful with the armature that comes off and goes to the back assembly back here. You don't wanna pry it up or bend it in any direction that it is not supposed to go. It does have a little bit of travel um, left to right as well as obviously up and down like this. So you have to use that to your advantage to get it all back together, but don't overdo it. When you feel it stop, don't push it any further. Um, there is a little O-ring on the post that we're gonna pull off. That actually just lets the trigger come right off. And you can see the spring right side right there. I'm right, gonna need that. The post that this spring rides on, you can see this post right here, the spring goes on that. That post doesn't even exist on this trigger, so you couldn't even put it on there anyway if you wanted to. So we're gonna take this post that's sticking out, we're gonna put it through, we're gonna put our O-ring back on, and then you can see that it's on there, and you're ready to put everything back together. It's that simple as far as taking it apart, getting the old trigger off and putting the new one on doesn't take a lot. Only tricky part is actually getting everything back together because you have to hold a couple different things. First thing you have to make sure is this, it's kind of like a, a guide for the screw. It also goes up in to the safety mechanism right here. You can see our, sta our rotating safety switch right there. This goes up through the middle of it, holds that safety switch in place and also acts as a guide for the screw to come through and attach the upper body to the frame. So we wanna make sure that that is properly in place. And then you have a little spring right here that sits on top and gets pushed down. So this holds everything in place and keeps tension on that, um, that safety lever. So we have to hold all of this in place. We can't let this guide drop out the bottom. We don't want our spring to fall over and get out of position. So it's kind of a balancing act of all, the, all of this together. Plus, we gotta get this trigger into place. So, if you had five hands, it would probably be easier, but doing it with two is possible. So we're gonna feed our trigger down. We're gonna, gonna angle this down. So you can see I've kinda got it sideways. I'm gonna angle it down sideways first. Get this trigger into position. Try not to lose everything. It's all, it's all wanting to come apart right now. Everything's still there. Safety switch works properly. Now we don't, at this point, if I let go of this guide that I put in the bottom right here and just turn it up and let go, it's a good chance that's gonna fall out. If that falls out, the safety lever inside of there is gonna shift, that spring could fall out. So I don't wanna let go of that right away. The easiest way to get around that before I do anything else, even put my trigger pin back in, is to put this screw in and with my Allen key that I have lost somewhere, there it is, that's the right one. We're gonna tighten that one down. So now that can't fall out and I can work without worrying about anything coming apart. Take our pin, I'm gonna look through this hole to make sure that, the, that our trigger, the hole that goes through our trigger has lined up properly inside of there. Then we're gonna push it through, make sure it's lined up. Tap that in place, take our rear frame screw, put that 
down and tighten that up. Now the amount of frame screws you have could be different depending on the type of gun you have. This is actually a uh, 9.1, maybe SOCOM or something like that. I'm not sure which version this is. It is a 9.1, but it has a silencer and all this other stuff. So depending on how your gun sets up, there's another screw in the front that you might have right here, but this one is kind of as it sits. Um, so that's it. We got our screws in. We've got a good response to our trigger. We can adjust both screws by putting an Allen key in and adjusting them. And we're ready to go. Um, it's a much softer trigger pull, lighter trigger pull, and actually is, it, it feels a lot better than the original one, um, both just comfort on your, on your finger and pull at the same time. So uh, if you're looking for an easy upgrade for your 9.1, um, and you want to do something more than just accessories on the outside, actually maybe a function upgrade, check out the Killjoy Trigger uh, upgrade. It's available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.